Hello, I'm Antoine, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to access the voxel plugin uh, example uh, levels and generators. So to start with, you're just going to open this, uh, the sources panel. Um, and if we go to view options, uh, you probably need to make sure that the show plugin content is checked. Um, then we're just going to scroll all the way down until we find uh, voxel content. And we'll just go to examples. Uh, uh, maps. Um, then I'm just going to go to the generators. So one thing I was asked was how to make a ring world. Uh, I'm not going to do that tutorial now. Uh, if I do it, it will probably be more advanced than the one that's included by default. And here's here this is. So there's already this, you know, in the plugin. Uh, there's a bunch of these, and you can also go and edit them. If we... Uh, let's open a different one. So here we have a, a multi-index example we can see the, the blending here and we can see how they do it if we just go to the generator and i think they have an option for object too yeah vg example multi-index but if you are using free then you can open the c plus plus example and edit that uh, but I'm just going to stick to the uh, pro version. Uh, and here we can see the voxel graph for it. Um, so we can see how they're splitting it. Uh, like the fall off is how they're blending the materials. Uh, they have the different materials all here. Um, and then I guess it means they can see them when they're putting them in. They know what they're assigning to where. So if we go back to examples and maps, uh, we can also go to like erosion. Uh, it's not save right now. And then we can see if we switch to the erosion graph, we can see how they're doing this too. Um, So it looks like they have noise, and they're just plugging it into the uh, 2D er erosion no node. And they have the same multi-index stuff here. Uh, they have some erosion logic, or material erosion logic. Uh, the point is, there's a bunch of just example content all of these folders are full of example voxel graphs that we can go in and edit. Um, if we go into cubic destruction, we can actually just access the their default one instead of going and trying to copy and paste it. Uh, we'll probably want to do that anyway. Depending on what you're doing, you'll want to just copy pieces of it. But we can see everything they're doing. Um, we can go to the complex controller and open this up. And like this is just one function. And if we go to the event graph, you can see the amount of uh, blueprints they have over here. Um, basically, there's a, a bunch of stuff that they have. Um, basically for beginners so to allow people to get started um i hope this was helpful uh let me know if there's anything else you'd be interested in uh, having a tutorial made for uh if my content's interesting or useful please subscribe